hello friends welcome to the soft learning today in this video we will show you how you can damp your structure how you can uh, do damping in solidworks so this is my model i have uh, sketched it and then convert it into solid body if you want this model then i will provide it to you uh, then you can apply the simulation on this and if you have your own model then it's okay uh, i want to give you the concept the method of damping and solid works first of all we will go to solid works as in and then we'll we will click on solid works simulation and go to solid works simulation premium okay The simulation section will appear here. You have to click, click on simulation. And then click on new study. okay you can name your uh, profile your study and uh, this is the general simulation static and frequency and this is advanced simulations I have ma made a video on this one and this one now I want to show you the damping you have to click on linear dynamic and uh, you have to click on these four uh, methods so I will choose this one click OK and you can see the menu here go to fixture to fix the geometry we'll fix this geometry from here from the bottom and from the back okay now i want to apply the force from the above in this face of 10 Newton okay I think uh, I have to I have to remove this uh, fillet sections because the force is flying wrongly in this direction give me a, a moment so i removed the uh, fillets mm, you will understand it why i removed the fillet because i want to apply the force on the entire face not on the edges so this is uh, the force i have applied 10 newton now I want to mesh, create mesh and run the study. Okay, so I will mesh and run. Before meshing and running, uh, define the material, add the material to the structure. I want uh, my structure made from steel. So this one will be okay the this one will be okay carbon steel sheet uh, or you can apply the stainless steel or this one is okay okay 
it's elastic modulus you can see all the values here so click on mesh and run and give it a moment it will show you the results when it completes okay the solid works solved the simulation and you can see the results and front of you so the this is the stress the maximum value is this and the menu minimum value is this in this point the stress is high in this point in this region this red region okay you can see the displacement obviously the displacement is high here and it is 0 0.0968 millimeter and this and this place the blue one this is the here is minimum displacement the structure now i want to apply the damping but before the damping i want to connect the spring okay for spring i uh, connection i will go to model i will go to model to to make two points on both the surfaces like this make point on center of face i will make on this face first of okay and then will i make another point okay point three and four you can name it point one and two so these are my two points now i will attach the spring okay click on connections and click on spring i'll click on two locations because i've made it because i've made two points on two faces Point four and point three. Okay, and uh, you can define the spring stiffness. I will give the value ten. It depends on your requirements, your values. I'll click on OK. You can see the spring. It appears to you. now i will go to damping click on edit definition there are two types of damping one is called moral damping and second is called relief damping if you want to do model damping then define the damping ratio here every material has his own damping ratio you can check the internet or refer to some experimental data okay then you can click on this compute from material damping if you have defined material damping in the material if you have not defined then define define here damping ratio it depends on your material the material temperature and all the uh, options uh, if you work on the environment then it depends on the environment uh, specifications okay and if you want to take the data from internet or some someone experimental work then you can take the data i have used here this st uh, carbon steel then you can use the data of damping ratio of carbon steel 
and the second one is called relief damping okay second one is called relief damping relief damping has two parameters alpha and beta you can uh, this one is also alpha and beta it is a long procedure how you can find alpha and beta of your uh, damping uh, but if you have data or someone else data or uh, you can also assume i am i just want to uh, teach you how you can damp and solid work how you how you can use the option of damping and solid works so i will add the data i am working on some uh, review paper i have data of damping uh, so i will use uh, my data okay the alpha is 0 0.003901 and the beta is 0 0.04 Five two nine eight nine. Okay, then I will click on OK, and uh, your damping your damping is defined. Click on this. And run your study. It is solving. Wait a minute. okay the results are here now i will compare the stress and displacement stress and displacement decreases with damping so you can see the stress what was the stress before damping and the spring and what was the displacement before damping and attaching a spring you can see here the maximum displacement is 0 0.0201 and in the previous case the maximum displacement was 0 0.0968 mm so it decreased in this case after damping okay now if you come to stress the stress also decreased very much decreased after damping the maximum stress in the previous case was 13, 36, 68, 36 and now it is uh, 4, 56, 63, 0, 2. So this has very much decrease okay after damping. So I think uh, now it is clear that how damping affects our values uh, our data and how you can do damping in SOLIDWORKS I was teaching you uh, to just know the uh, working of damping and the procedure of damping and SOLIDWORKS you can use your own model your own data and your own structure to use the this uh, amazing option of damping and SOLIDWORKS if you have any question then ask in the comment sections and thank you for watching this videos